for another video as you can see just in the plant room at the moment small um, yeah so I'm just going to show you I'm quickly going to move out of the way um, I'm going to show you what's going on what's happening and then yeah, I'll do a time lapse video of us obviously as you can see boilers on the wall it's got a patrice behind it to hold the boiler as you can see so we're going to be fitting obviously the central heating flow and return hot water flow and return gas pipe going to the boiler going to this low loss header as you can see what I'm pointing to let's move the camera over there as you can see yep um, as you can see that's the main heating pipe so as you can see the 28mm pipe at the bottom right there um, so that's the return we've got the floor going into the top of this on this side uh, with a pump a dab pump so like I said as you can see the hot water cylinder's already been piped up everything else has been piped up we've got the hot water drawer which is this one hot water drawer this is a secondary return the secondary return pump it this is just temp until the spark it gets these uh, official cables in as I like to say um, so yeah this is temp the pumps obviously stay in there so yeah as soon as you open a the tap there'll be constant hot water well when I say constant it'll be inst inst instantaneously there so yeah that's what that's for guys so I've got the expansion vessel like I said that's already Piped. So, like I said, yeah, I shall do a time lapse video. Let's get back in the picture. So, yeah, um, I'll do a time lapse video of. Let's get you back in there. Yeah, so I'll do a time lapse video of us piping this up, piping the boiler up. Um, yeah, nothing else, and you can. This is what we do. Like I said, just try to compile as many videos as I can, showing what we do as a, I'm a basic officer, like I said in the previous, the first video, I'm a refrigeration engineer by trade, but we do a lot of other things within the mechanical world, as I like to say, so we're not just a one trip pony, we do a lot of other things, which you'll see when I post in the videos that are upcoming, so hope you like what you see, like and subscribe guys, and thanks for watching, Ashley Engineer, cheers guys. Work as always, as you can see, take pride in my work as you can tell. So, there we have it. So, we obviously, we've got the LTHW pump. Yep, that, so I'm gonna have a drain cock on it if we ever need to obviously drain that coil out. That's the hot water coil. So, at the moment, it's temporarily running on the immersion. So, turn you back up there. So, like I said to you before, second return, which was done obviously before, which I haven't got. Um, like I said, I've ever taken some pictures so before any of this was here, so I'll insert them down below or at the end to see what you think. Uh, yeah, so there you have it, guys. That is the pipe work, like I said. So, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog, and they will get better over time, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Purpose of a low loss header? So, a low loss header, what is it? It is. As you can see from the picture, that is a low loss header. What I'm pointing to at the moment. Um, it can come in all shapes and sizes. So basically, the easiest way to put it is? Two meters high, three meters high. It all depends on the capacity of the system. So a low loss header is, um, the reason we have them on a system, it is a means of hydraulically separating a boiler's primary circuit from the secondary system circuits. As a result, it can improve the boiler's efficiency, performance, while also 
regulating the flow rate and pressure. So yeah, it's good to have on a big system. Not all systems, but in this case, it works great. <laughs> So, a purpose of a magna clean. Um, the purpose is, it's a simple, it is to stop any debris sludge within a system, as you can see what I'm pointing to there. Um, it can also stop any blockages or system leaks. Obviously, the actual part inside the magna clean itself is magnetic. So it will catch any, any contaminants on the return as it comes back to the boiler. So this is good to have on any kind of central heating system. Uh, as you can see, there's a little picture I'm showing you there um, of the actual Magna Clean itself and a brief look of how it actually works. Hopefully you can understand it from the picture. So, yep, yeah, that's how a Magna Clean works. Right guys, so it's the end of the video, I just wanted to show you the finished job, everything's labelled up, um, so I don't know if you can see that, yep there you go, everything's labelled up, lagged, the pipes, there you go, head is done, so there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed it. And on to the next one.